Hi and welcome back to my channel, Enchanted Divination. My name is Autumn and I'm so happy to have you here with me today. Happy New Year, first and foremost. I'm recording this on January 1st, so Happy New Year. But whenever you do see this reading, um, just know that this reading is timeless. So I'm recording this on the 1st of January, but whenever it does come across you at any given time, if there's any messages that do resonate with you, that's when that message is meant to reach you at this time. So, you may be seeing this later down the line, and I'm saying Happy New Year, so... Maybe you can use this kind of like as a check-in as well. Do some self-reflecting and see where you have progressed, or maybe been a little bit stagnant as well, at, from compared to now, to the start of the new year. So, let's get into this reading, shall we? Today's topic is going to be, uh, we're going to get messages from your future self in regards to anything that you may be worried about at this time. So, let's get into it. I have my sound bowl here, and I always start off my readings with clearing out the energy in space so clear, concise messages can come through, and to just you know, cleanse the energy of the room, the space, cleanse my energy, and as well as yours. So it's a win for everybody here. All right, so just turn down the volume in case it is a little loud for you in the beginning. Ooh, that was even loud for me. I'm like, oh, I hit it too hard. <laughs> that aside and let's get into it happy new year again i hope it's filled with nothing less of abundance joy good health wealth prosperity growth and everything in between what are some of your goals or Things that you want to change or implement or maybe even decrease as a part of a resolution or some goal that you have in mind. I, I kind of subscribe to resolutions, but not really. Um, but I do like how, in, at least in my mind, it feels like you know, starting over, starting afresh. Um, though I kind of look at the new year um, when spring begins. But I think it's still a good way to kind of tell your mind, like, okay, a fresh start, a new, you know, let's do some self-reflecting. What's something that I want to increase or decrease in my life? What is something that I wish to improve? So that's how I kind of like to use it. So I I do like having certain goals in mind. Um, sometimes they roll over from the previous. Um, and then sometimes I kind of see how maybe it took more than a year for for whatever it was to kind of come to fruition or whatever it may be. I don't know, I kind of want to cut it extra. All right, so, but right now we're going to get some details about 
what it is that you may be worried about at this time and what kind of guidance that we can receive in regards to it. Oh, and side note that I do have guests over, so you probably will hear people talking in the back at times, so don't mind that. The reading must commence. So that's what you're doing. I'm gonna pull one more. <laughs> of course, physical activity, that's been coming up. I mean, with the timing right now with the new year, so makes sense. All right. So we already see though that we have physical activity. So just kicking things into gear when it comes to moving the body, moving our energy around, physical activity and like working out, workout regimens sometimes can be more than just physical movement and your physical health. It can also be connected to your spiritual mental health as well. Moving energy, shifting energies around that need to be sweat out moved out and sometimes that requires physical work all right so first card we got was number 44 environment and 44444 four, four, four fours may be significant for you big heart energy here so maybe focusing on your Emotions, your emotional health, your like your physical environment as well, um, maybe where you reside, um, your home, your apartment, anything that involves your environment where you spend a lot of time or a good amount of, a good amount of time. This can be also in regards to work for some. So there's something here where. You're checking in with your environment and really discerning maybe if you're in a safe environment or not or if you're in an environment that is inhibiting your growth or maybe um, blocking your growth in some kind of way. So it can be applied to many different options. So take it how it resonates and apply it how it resonates with you in in your situation ah i thought i seen this card personal growth is so funny these cards kind of same energy of of another reading that that i had done pre previously so forget the title of the reading i thought it i can't remember at this time i thought it had to do with um I don't remember the title. I can't remember if it was It's Time. I can't remember. But I'm sure if you flip through it and see me using this deck in the beginning and see um, personal growth and physical activity, you probably um, would resonate with that reading if you go back in and, and try to check that one out. With personal growth too, I also see that uh, with the number seven, is seven the um number of mastery i cannot remember i'm like not the most versed with i'm not like an expert when it comes to numerology but, you know i know a little bit of something something so if i am incorrect please let me know but i thought number seven was the number of mastery so just really getting down buckling down and I feel like now is kind of like the time for that anyway. So a lot of people are becoming more goal oriented, um, doing a lot of self reflecting and seeing what type of changes that they can introduce into their life. I also see the number seven um, personal growth card as you becoming more spiritually aligned and inclined with you know your energies with the energies around you with spirit source with your guides etc i also see this as 
chakra work uh, we have seven main chakras so I see your chakras being more aligned more balanced um, if that is something that you are worried about or something that you feel like you are experiencing where maybe you are going through something more challenging or going through experiencing something that maybe you've been going through it for a while or continue to run into um, the same um, occurrence or issue, something, something in, in that regard. Maybe something continues to reoccur. There's something there that you need to go back and either like learn. There's something there that has not completely been closed out. Um, so there is something there you still need to take from that. Um, that's not going to resonate with everyone, but I just see the message coming through. So I have to say it. Um, because sometimes when we feel a little bit stuck in a situation... It's like, you know, why is this happening? Um, you know, you tried and done, you know, exhausted what you could. And sometimes you feel like there, there's nothing, there's no give. Um, but understand that, you know, divine is at work here. And, you know, what you're experiencing is only to, to improve yourself. And for you to reap the benefits um, inside and out. And the last card. Ew, so many purple cards. Spiritual partnership. So there is something that you are spiritually connected to. Um, whether that be through a relationship or some kind of job or maybe it's a career path that you wish to take um, that maybe differs from what you're doing now or maybe what you studied in school or maybe just a societal expectation. Um, so maybe you're afraid of going against the grain, um, going against something that you've are always known and you know kind of been surrounded by but there's something here that wants you to really follow and take a risk on yourself follow your dreams and follow your intuition most importantly all right i'm gonna just sit here for a second see if any other last messages come through but not at this time i just see lots of sevens you know, 7, 67, 27. So 7, 7, 7, 7 might be significant. Lots of purple. So crown energy. Very spiritual. Connected, connectedness. Um, I also see that as like unity. Connection with source. Guides. With spirit. Divine. Um. Any last messages? I don't think so. Let's start clarifying though and seeing um, what more of these um, worries may entail and so we can receive some guidance about these worries. A message that just came through now was maybe for some ooh <laughs> maybe for some you're um concerned about the direction your path right now maybe you feel like you kind of lack direction lack movement now that i'm looking at the the cards as a whole and not as individuals 
I'm still want to clarify them as individuals, but you know, when I look at the cards all together, you know, maybe those messages will kind of resonate for someone else that maybe you just feel like you've kind of been going through the motions, but like haven't really experienced the maybe like growth that you were expecting or maybe you just thought like you'd just be in a whole different space maybe somewhere better or more improved and maybe you're just not quite there yet almost as if like there's something that like a dream or a goal that you've been at for a while but I definitely see the energy like changing like as in like there's movement being made things are in motion even when you feel like there is nothing going on or things may feel stagnant maybe if you feel like you've taken two steps back maybe even if you take two back you know that's still part of the journey because at one point you make up those steps and you take five steps forward so let's go get in here and see see what's going on This can also be in regards to relationship too. Like maybe you feel like you've been moving in one direction, they've been moving in another, or your goals and values are beginning to differ from one another. And that happens too. Um, that doesn't always have to come from a negative or like something bad had to occur in order for you to kind of feel those feelings or for that to come up like that's just you know how it is to be a, a person sometimes you can kind of outgrow certain situations um it doesn't matter what it is it doesn't have to be in regards to love you can outgrow any kind of environment workplace mindset perspective that's just no longer serving you all right. Why is environment here for a current worry you may have? Wow. <laughs> of course, the two of cups come out. Yeah. It's like something had to be brought back into balance with some kind of partnership or some kind of relationship, platonic, work, love, any kind of relationship. Um, also, I'm getting that since the two of cups can also represent contracts, this is definitely has to do with somebody's like home as well. That maybe you just did not enjoy being where you were or there's just something about it that that just was not vibrating with you and with the right frequency like again this could be something that was just like outgrown or unsafe you just maybe it was just like your neighbors whatever it may be so it's almost as if like there was like some time that you had to you had to wait before you made a move or maybe you had to get like your money up first start saving so you can like make your move change your environment but there's something here definitely where there was obligations that had to be met or filled first before you can start um changing your environment 
or start making some moves in some kind of way. I saw it, it was a star card. And wow, oh my gosh, funny that the Ten of Cups or the, the Ten of Pentacles is here with the star. Because the Ten of Pentacles just tells me exactly that. Ten of Pentacles is like, you know, home life, having your family, um, some kind of like legacy. Um, and then there's like a community. It's almost like there's like a neighborhood, almost like a town in the back. So yeah, there's definitely something here where you had to wait before you made a decision on something. And maybe that you're worried that you weren't going to secure something that you really had your, your mind on. Like you really wanted to secure a spot or land some type of contract or deal. And you got it. It's basically like telling me like you got it. Like everything's coming together. So no worries. Just continue to... You know keep your keep your energy high do your work um whether you like to you know do physical work like keep continue making your money um your spiritual work continue to write down your manifestations your goals um your rituals if you do any ritual work i see that with like all the water and and stuff here so maybe you like to get outdoors and do like some kind of spiritual work, working with water, um, with moving water like lakes or like um, like being somewhere like, you know, in the mountains with waterfalls or just any water that's like moving. I'm going to get one more to clarify that, but it's just like, it's literally just telling me like, you got to just keep doing what you're doing. Keep putting in like whatever kind of work that resonates with you and, and that you enjoy doing and you will reap the benefits. Oh, I just want a one card, but that's okay. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah keep your energy high keep your mind clear continue to work diligently and you will receive literally so there's no need to stress about something or somewhere that you will be spending a lot of time something about like your outer world that you are concerned about no reason to be concerned basically you're going to be okay. Just continue to work. Put in that work. As I was saying, however that may mean to you. And, and yeah. Reap the benefits. <laughs> Personal growth. Why is that here for you at this time? Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. This is kind of the energy that I was feeling. Ooh, wow, lots of pinnacles here, lots of pinnacles here, so there's something to do with your values being in mind or at the forefront of your mind at this time or your experience. Um, and pinnacles doesn't have to represent like physical money either. This can be like anything that you value as well. But personal growth uh, with the four of swords, that's exactly the kind of energy that I was getting from this is that, you know, your experiences will sometimes make you take a step back so you can get the bigger picture and understand um, you know the lessons and what you're truly supposed to experience out of life not always reaching the destination but enjoying the journey as well so sometimes life is going to make you go through those challenging times go through those tough times 
Um, also, I see that maybe that you were like injured or something to where like you had to like, you almost like you were forced to like take a seat. Like maybe you were like ill or experienced some kind of ailment to where it made you slow down. And that in itself can be so challenging sometimes to just not be constantly on the go, work, 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 um, and put yourself first. Like, yeah, we do that on the day to day, but like, how much are you prioritizing, you know, your health, your wellness, and your truest desires and, and your happiness? Not just going through the motions and, you know, wake up, go to sleep, eat, you know, it's important to have a regimen and all, but make sure to leave time in your regimen for activities that that will add to you, that will improve you in some kind of way or that will benefit you in some kind of way. And again, like with the Nine of Pentacles, it's telling me once again that there you will achieve anything that you desire. There is some level of abundance enjoying the fruits of your labor once you go through this this growth um, spurt that you're experiencing or this um, time that you're experiencing. It's all coming together so you can achieve that a level of independence being able to just go outside and, and be present enjoy life in the moment and experience you know the hard work you know that you've put out put out there and you be able to receive back as well Because there was something, oh, there was a challenging time when I see the five of pinnacles. Oh, yeah, something went down. But it's like, again, it's like two different energies. It's like down bad, you know, maybe I have to take a step back. And then boom, like all the abundance, enjoying eating your grapes. Grapes, I don't know, grapes to me is like just like I always think about, you know, when you see like the movies with like the queens and they're just sitting there and they're being fan and they're being fed grapes and they, the grapes just look so so juicy and lively like those grapes were just taken care of like through the soil they're being tended you know from the person that had to cultivate them and being able to absorb the sun like that's that's luxury i don't know something about that is and about the nine of cards, the nine of cards, the nine of pentacles is just like luxury. And luxury doesn't have to be like materials as well. Luxury can mean waking up and not having to go to a nine to five because you have your own business, or you being able to go to a nine to five and you're at a position where you're on salary and you're making a certain figure and you know, that's living a life of luxury for you. So it's always going to be different for everybody. Um, but regardless, there is some kind of luxury that you will attain. Yeah. <laughs> Eight of Wands with the Death card. Um, so far, Scorpio, lots of like... Um, What's the, the sign? Earth. Lots of Earth energy coming through. Aquarius and now Scorpio coming through. Um, and yeah, I just see like there's going to be a swift like whoop, like something just changes out of nowhere. Um, so it's like, you know, if you have been going through a challenging time, it's like all of a sudden like these opportunities um, new chances, um, new ways of living, being, 
are just gonna come out of nowhere. The Eight of Wands is a card of movement, fast movement, swiftness, also communication coming through. So I just, I don't know, I'm seeing like this motion. Whoop. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. But it's almost as if like, you know, I don't know, I'm thinking of um, something from like my childhood or like Looney Tunes, I don't know. But say there's someone on the stage and you know, they're supposed to be cracking jokes and it's not landing and they get the, the, the hook on them and they like just snatch them off the stage. I don't know, that's like in my mind right now. So random, but I just have to share it because that's literally what I'm seeing. And I feel like that's that's kind of going to happen in some kind of way for you. Like something is there and it's just all of a sudden like snatched. Like, mm -mm. like okay, time's up. Like something's expired and it, it's, it's, it's time for it to, to get a move on, to, to get along now. Um, yeah, there's something here. It's just like, yeah, no. Time to get going. Get gone. Because there, there's energy here that's waiting to come in. And, you know, for it to reach you, there needs to be space for it. So, something's getting the boot. And it's quick. And I see that kind of um, as the energy of your situation, too. If you are experiencing some kind of challenge. Um, it's almost as if, like, out of nowhere, like, improvements appear. Um, there's some kind of opportunity near it's like right around the corner it's just waiting to get there um, but yeah something just is like the hook is needs to just, just take it right off the stage take it off let's go on to physical activity physical activity why is that here oh Oh my, wow, oh, <laughs> okay, interesting, I'm going to sit here and kind of gather some, some of the messages here because two major arcanas, the Ace of Cups with the Knight of Cups? I'm, now I'm kind of seeing this section a little bit differently now. Um, I still see it as, you know, being able to move your body in some kind of way, freeing up energy, another way to free up energy um, and space for you. But it almost as if like it, like I was mentioning earlier, like, it does something more to you than just, you know, your physical health. There's something here that, there again, there's some kind of like opportunity of, I, I'm seeing love. I'm seeing just joy, happiness. Like that's very clear with the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Cups. Um... And then with the higher font, there's some kind of like relationship here. There's something about like traditions, um, something that's like by the books um, that's happening. Maybe too that like for some you're planning on getting married and hi baby, maybe you plan on getting married and you are wanting to get healthy for your marriage. That's one, or maybe you're choosing to get healthy together, you know, with a significant other or, you know, with people that you love or trust in some kind of way. Go over here, baby. Oh, heavy girl. But the higher fall with the sun and then with combo ace of cups, knight of cups. I mean, I was already saying earlier that something is, there's an opportunity coming in, but this can be an opportunity of love, revamping your love. Um, and this could be like love of self as well. Just 
becoming more interconnected with yourself, with your body, through your health or through getting healthy in some kind of way. Um, cause it doesn't always have to mean like going to the gym. This can be like just even going for like walks. Um, I, I can see like there's so many different like messages that's coming through because for some it's like, like I was saying, like getting ready, you know, to get married for others. It's, I see it as like becoming Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like committing to yourself. There we go. Committing to yourself. And that opening up more channels of of love, self-love being reflected and um, felt, you know, in your energy and in your frequency, etc. I want to pull one more. I'm just like, wow, these cards... They definitely have something to say, all right. I saw it as a yellow card. Was it the um the nine of cups? Yeah, I knew it. I saw it. The nine of cups with the five of wands. And so interesting because they're all outside, like moving. Um Almost as if it looks like they're fighting in there. Depending on like the energy of like the reading, sometimes it can be competition, uh, rivalry. But again, I'm just seeing that like you know, the, you know this group of people as like movement. Um, maybe you're doing like some kind of activity again, since this is related to physical activity for some, this can be this relating to the physical activity that you're doing. And it is just something that you've been doing, wanting to do for a while. Maybe you've been wanting to take a certain class for some, and it's very fulfilling for you. I also just see this too as any energy that is lingering that is almost like you've kind of been like fighting to like kick it just as if um i was saying in this section that maybe there's some energy that's just finally getting the boot and i think that's what's happening in this section too and again that can just be through you changing okay she's hungry i'm gonna feed her soon and that can be just mean through changing your your daily regimen um through doing some type of class or activity um going more outdoors again just changing your environment your perspective and just freeing up your energy as well you know doing the energy work so you are just more fulfilled. There's ultimately like fulfillment. Nine of Cups is always about getting what you want at the end. Being content. And receiving all that you desire. So it's there. I feel like the end always just kind of continues to tell me the same thing. Just there's something here that you just continue to just. It just all comes together for you. So continue to put your trust in yourself and put your energy into yourself because the energy is there. It's just waiting. It is just waiting. Okay, so for spiritual partnership. Ooh. Eight of Cups. Yeah, for some, you're choosing to, to walk away from something. You're choosing yourself. You're choosing your happiness, what is fulfilling for you. And uh, I kind of see these cards as a little similar. That you're just no longer accepting or 
allowing certain energies to to withstand or to be in your field any longer oh hold on get down from here excuse me ma'am <laughs> all right can we get some further clarification here? Cause uh, we need to know. Ooh, yes, Libra energy coming through. And the Ace of Pentacles. You're going to get your justice. You're going to receive like, uh, you are just going to receive. Whatever it is, you're going to get it. It just, it continues to just tell me the same thing. The cards, the energies, it, the messages is there. Things will balance out. You will receive exactly as you need at the time. Oh, that's a big one. At the time that it is necessary. Um, And I think that's significant because like I was saying in the beginning, that i even though i may not really subscribe to like new year new me and like resolutions i feel like you can start a resolution at any time but if you choose to use the new year to make resolutions you know that's cool too like i'm not knocking it, i'm not saying it's wrong um but i was mentioning earlier that sometimes when i do write down take the time to write down maybe goals that i wish to achieve for the year that i may see that it took a little bit of time maybe more than a year but eventually it did come and i see that for some that maybe you feel like you've been waiting but i just see like the time has come and you'll know it too like there's just certain things you can't ignore there's certain energies that just is going to uh, come into alignment with you and, and there's just no doubting it anymore you're going to receive some kind of justice you are going to receive something here some kind of opportunity some opportunity of receiving whatever it may be um you're going to get something there expect some kind of return on something and again, with the pinnacles here, this can be like materials, but the, the opportunities of receiving are endless. Also, too, I was mentioning earlier that maybe for some, because this is under the spiritual partnership section, that you are walking away from something that you're no longer allowing some kind of energy to to be in your life anymore and i also see it as like you standing up for yourself most importantly but like just standing your ground standing in your energy and also taking your energy back if you feel like you've kind of let your energy you know let others kind of just like take from it and you maybe feel depleted or maybe you just feel like you've been giving yourself out too much and you're taking you you're choosing to take your energy back and maybe being more selective with it being more selective with your heart with your emotions and who has access to you in general one more clarifying card in this section Oh. King of Cups. Yeah, things I I kind of see the King of Cups as like being able to balance, you know, anything that's going on. You are unwavered by the waves of life because you've gone through certain experiences now that like. You know, when the energy comes up that you don't doubt anymore, you're able to trust, you're able to discern 
with more clarity. You don't allow your heart and your emotions to just take you and, and run with, you know, whatever is going on in the situation. All those things are in balance. Because you're able to tap into your highest self, tap into your intuition when it's necessary, tap into your emotions when it's necessary, and you're just operating from a much more balanced, higher sense of self. I know I said last one, but <laughs> thank you, Spirit, because yeah. That was just the confirmation of literally what I was just saying. Being balanced, touching on the light and dark of self, and ultimately I just see the, the chariot as positive movement forward, just moving in a forward direction with, with ease, with steadiness, with balance. Yes, love to see it. I think I'm going to pull one spirit animal totem. No, 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 no. First, I'm going to pull an affirmation. I think I'll just pull two affirmations. What affirmation can we work with to stay best aligned with the energy of this reading? With the major opportunities and expansion that is here. I just heard, don't be afraid to choose yourself. Oh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. <laughs> yeah, I just heard, don't be afraid to choose yourself. And I also see that as like, you know, be a little selfish sometimes. Nothing wrong with being a little selfish. When it comes to yourself, yes. That is necessary. With the correct balance, yes. But I just see a lot of... I see this this reading, a lot of things just balancing out. I think I've said that from, from the beginning, but... Yeah, there's a lot of energy that's being balanced. Thank you. Let's just work with the two today. First one, I am whole. Number three, I am perfectly created. I am wonderfully unique individual. Every lesson I have learned, every risk I have taken, and every achievement I have made contribute to who I am. Because of that, I am whole. Beautiful. Ooh, I haven't seen this one. Number 26, I am alive. I honor my life by letting go, dancing, singing, and feeling the fullness of my energy, my joyful energy, not just your energy, your joyful energy. I am my true self when I am having fun. I am alive. Yes, I love that. I really love that. I'm kind of going to shuffle this one in my in my lap in case I don't have enough. I have enough space down here. I'm going to give it a quick shuffle. We're going to get the spirit animal totem from this deck. And see what is the final message that we can take away from this reading. going to take them all though Ooh, I'm 
so happy because I was asking him, like, I want to see some energy I haven't yet. And I, oh, the dragon. Look how pretty this card. Dragon Supernatural, you are an ancient wise sage. You can shape shift at will. Mastery is your destiny. Rise with dignity. Ooh, love it. Love this card. And we also have bison abundance. Sacred buffalo, cloak me with your wisdom. Keep me warm through the storms of life. Fill my life with goodness. Teach me the way of gratitude and prayer. And then lastly, ooh, love this card as well. Polar bear, mystic. Know that challenges make you stronger. Have faith when you face adversity. Take time to restart, dream, and renew your strength. Embrace your psychic abilities. You carry the shaman within. Oh! Love, love, love. Similar energies from the cards, right? Very supernatural. Very connected with source, creator. Shamanic energy. Being an ancient, connecting with ancients. And understanding that, you know, your experiences, I mean, I feel like the I Am Whole card and um, Polar Bear had similar um, characteristics. So if you want to look more into the animal's um, characteristics, you can always give it a, a little search online. But those um, messages on the cards are like the, the basis of the the spirit animal totem messages so i really hope you enjoyed the last messages ah perfect way to end the reading so thank you spirit and thank you most importantly for coming with me along with this journey of this reading super fun to read and do so if you enjoyed this video i would really appreciate it if you were to like the video and let me know if it, where it may resonate with you or any messages that you enjoyed if you want to keep up with my uploads, I do upload daily. Um, you can be notified of my uploads um, as well by subscribing and hitting that notification bell. You'll be notified when I do upload. I will catch you in my next video. And thank you again so much for being here with me today.